Hey everybody, here's a little short video about drafting uh, in Revit and uh, also um, someone asked me how to fix this and so I told them I'd send them a little video on how to do that. Here I just drew a little box it's supposed to represent a house or whatever building and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some doors and windows in it and, and tag them and show you uh, what the problem is. It's a very very old problem and everybody pretty much knows it but for some beginners you might want to see this video um, okay so I'll put some windows in it and let's see and, and some doors um, let's get a decent size a couple different windows here I'll put a 36 by 24 here here and here and I'll put just to sh represent this I'll put uh, the some other oddball uh, window right there and I will tag them uh, go to the annotate tab select tag by category and I'm gonna go ahead and just tag this one this one this one this one this one and this one now, I was messing around earlier so that's why I got some weird numbers here like seven and eight but what it's done is uh, let me go ahead and just straighten these things out so you can kinda uh, get in uh, in sync with what's going on here actually this one I'll just go ahead because of the fact that it's kinda here in the corner I'll put these right here just to make it a little neat uh, I should change the scale here so you can see it a little differently okay so change the scale to quarter inch scale looks a little bit better but here's uh, 7 window type 7 and window type 8 and, and I'm going to change it to window 1 because that's our window. I'll just, you can name it whatever you want. And uh, your next, uh, so I changed all to 1. And I'll change this one to window 2. 2. Okay, got it. Okay. So this window and this window and this window are one type of windows that are the 2 and this window this window window is type 1 so when I look in the schedule I only have to look at type 1 one time and be able to see that whatever the schedule says that this window is say for instance a 2 by whatever that I know that this window is exactly the same size and type and this one is exactly the same and type so let's just say that these windows are 4 by 4s and they're XO sliders well then I know for sure that this one and this one and this one should be exactly the same type and that's the way that an architect um, or a plan checker wants to see the windows tagged you don't uh, what I see is a lot of times draftsmen make mistake and they they label this one one two three four five six and they keep on going if they have a hundred windows they end up with a hundred different numbers and what that causes is you'd have to look up every single number to see if it's the same window as the one that was right before it which doesn't make any sense and that's not the way that drafting is taught so let's do the same thing with a door and uh, let's go to door now this is let me explain this is right out of the box this is the way when you load um, Revit this is the way it behaves okay so I'll put one door here and I'm not gonna change the type I'm just gonna put the same door here and the same door here Okay, oh, and we'll put one more just here, just for the hell of it. Okay, so I got four doors here, and let me go ahead and tag these. And uh, I'll tag this one, this one, and this one, and that one. And what do we got? One, two, three, four. Wait a minute, that's not right. Uh, door one should be exactly as door two, door three, door, f door four. So this is not the way that somebody wants to be able to read plans because every time you look at this door and you have to sit there and look at this door you have to decipher the difference by the schedule and you don't want to do that you want to look up the schedule of door one and say well if this is door one this should be door one door one door one or a a a we can name it whatever you like so let's do that let's change it so it's that way we want to be able to tag this way and um, one of them is called by mark and the other one's called by type mark uh, so let's see how you change that what I do is I'll select the tag itself go into edit family and just highlight this right here 
and go right over here to the left while well, I have my property dialog over there but if you just check and see where it says edit label right here you see it says mark and if I were to do the same thing in the in the window schedule which actually did my schedule properly it would say something different than mark just mark under the parameter name so let's go look and see what it's supposed to be it's supposed to be type mark type mark okay right down here on this little side type mark go ahead and that's my ham radio going off so sorry about the beeps uh, let's go ahead and move that over and I'll go ahead and delete this just so we're not confused there it is type mark right right there okay good and then hit apply or okay and then load into project override existing and look what happened to the doors if you look at the doors one 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 and that's the way it's supposed to be if I go to a different door now uh, let's go ahead and and I'll, I'll put a different door this time I'm gonna put a 30 by 80 right here and I'll and I'll tag it I'll put two 30 just so you can see that it worked let's create similar okay you guys all know how to do that it's a pretty easy little task you just create similar so I got actually this door and this door are two different doors so um, annotate again tag and I'm, I'll go ahead and tag that one and tag that one and they're both the same number if you can see here seven and seven and obviously this is gonna be uh, oops I, I, I made a mistake here um, uh, I just want to click in here and change it to door two okay I'll get a little warning here and then so now here door two door two door one door one door one it's all the same very easy when I look at the schedule BAM I know what those doors are one time and that's the little trick or not trick but uh, uh, a lot of people that are that I see are doing Revit are not changing this and and they're actually even doing it with Windows and uh, I see a whole bunch of numbers and it's really confusing especially when you're trying to do a title 24 for somebody and you have to find out how much glass you got in the east west north and south anyways that's my uh, tip for today or lesson thanks a lot see you next time